Hello everyone. Um, we are going to prep this image today in Photoshop. It's a beautiful image of a young woman with um, unnaturally red hair. Uh, I think she's beautiful even though uh, that cannot be her real hair color. But uh, anyway it has some very nice contrast. Uh, red white and blue so i'm feeling a little bit patriotic um anyway first thing we're going to try to tackle is the face um we would like to make it a little bit smoother than than what it really is uh that's at 69 percent let's go to actual pixels um as you can see she's Got a gorgeous face, um, but it's just slightly rough, you know, up around in here and stuff. Um, so we're just going to try to smooth that out. Um, what you need to do to start off with, uh, unlock your background layer. Right click and then duplicate layer. Click OK. And then what you want to do is turn off the little eye here, it'll turn that off and it's it's uh, only the bottom layer showing. So, uh, let's see. So we want to go to filter. Um, actually, we want to select the one that we need to select. Okay. Now, okay, now we want to select the bottom layer, then go to filter, and let's see, blur, then Gaussian blur, and no, we don't really want that much, we want to start at 0, 0 0.1, and kind of work our way up, and just try to pay attention to our skin, you know, nothing more. Because uh, nothing more is really going to be blurred. Okay. Let's take it to 5, 1.5. There. Okay. Hit OK. Uh, now you want to open up your top image and you can see the difference when you toggle that on and off. Um, yeah, so let's go up here to the eraser tool and that is a bit big let's take that down check your size and we may use different sizes as as we go along here okay we're on the top layer um, and we will, yeah, we do need to see this, but we do need to lock it also. So let's lock that bottom layer, get back on top, and then start erasing. Uh, okay, you can see how that's having a smoothing effect on the skin. And I've got the opacity set somewhere just above the middle um, and that's to give yourself a little room to breathe I guess if you put it a hundred percent you're gonna get nothing but the bottom image and you want to try to have a transition between the both of the both of them the top and the bottom image so Just go over your forehead, maybe just a little bit on the hairline, maybe just a touch. Soften that up just a little bit. Okay, let's go down to the nose. And try to, uh, when you're erasing, try to stay away from, uh, from your lines. Like, the, you know, the bottom of the nose, the curvatures of the nose. Um, uh, these guys right here, these little lines, 
uh, right above the lip. Uh, definitely stay off of your lips. Um, yeah, any lines that are significant to the way the, uh, the picture uh, looks. Definitely stay off the, uh, the eyelashes because you're going to need those later. Um, come down here. It's a little dark down there, but it's a natural shadow. You're going to get just in there a little bit. Okay. Stay close to the lips. But do not hit that line. If you if it at all you can help it. Um, chin line. Again, try to keep on top of it, but not on it. This is going fairly smoothly, no pun intended. Okay, let's go over that a little bit more. It's a little rough. Okay. Okay. Now, if we wanted to get into this more, we could you know, change some of this more. I mean. She's still a little spotty up, up in here, but, um, you know, when it comes to the final painting, which that's what we're shooting for, it's probably not going to matter a whole lot because um, you're not going to get into that much detail. So let's take the brush down just a bit, about maybe half the size of what it was. Um, maybe a little more. I need to go above the eyes. Um, let's see, just lightly go above the eyes. That needs to be smoothed out too. 